Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Today we have Hot Toys, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and the Child Deluxe Version. This Hot Toys set has been in my collection for a while now. I think this set came out around 2020, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been in my collection for a while. But this is a great set either way, and I thought I'd show it off today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Here we have this ribbon down here at the bottom showing the Mando Mandalorian holding his rifle. And over here he's is the image of uh, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, with uh, the child, or Grogu, as he is known in his hover pram that he, that he, that he, uh, that he travels in. So this is um, just a great, 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 great set. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the side here. Here you get to see the other side of the rifle right there the end the back just shows just some information right and again we go back to this other side and here is the Mandalorian and if you notice down there at the bottom or on his right hand he is holding a um, the actual uh, He's holding the actual, uh, what do they call that thing? The, uh, oh, what do they call that thing? The, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of that little, uh, oh, the Camtono. I'm sorry, the Camtono. Now I got it. The Camtono, he's, he's holding it, and that's where they store the Beskar uh, in there. So let's go ahead and open this setup and take a closer look at it. When you open this setup, you have some more artwork here showing the Mandalorian and that scene where he's uh, discovering the, the child uh, or Grogu as we know him now as. But uh, here you get to see some of the gauntlet here with the little uh, whistling birds effect that he has. So let's go ahead and open it up and continue on. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this piece right here here you can see how this is removable and i'm going to sit it just right over here and here is the actual set that we're looking at here uh, hot toys if you're not familiar with hot toys they come with a ton of accessories and the figures are very highly detailed so let's go ahead and start taking apart some of the actual pieces and just here you get to see the Mandalorian Camtono here's the child here's his pram and the rifle here's another uh, Grogu another child that it comes with so let me go ahead and see if I can remove this set here from okay here's this part here I'm gonna remove this part so we can kind of take a look at what's underneath. And here we get to see what we have inside here. I went ahead and assembled the stand real quick so you can get a better look at it. This, this piece just pops into here. And you can see the detail where the Mando would sit. This is the actual apparatus that holds him. And you can probably suspend him in there too as well. This is the Mandalorian right there, Star Wars. This piece attaches to it, the hover, the hover pod here, and this attaches to it like so, so that you can pose this apparatus anyway. You would want uh, like so right there. This is the stand. 
I'm going to give a brief overview of all the accessories here they are that come with this action figure set the first thing that I'm going to show off is the blaster rifle with attachable detachable scope uh, here's the scope right here here's the, the blaster rifle just take a look at the great detail on that right it's got the blaster pistol right here right he's got the dagger he's got a dagger right in here uh, let's see if I can get a better view of that uh, he's got a dagger right then he's got a wired grappling hook you can barely see the wire right here and here's the grappling hook at the end. Right? That's that. Then he has the Camtono with LED light up function. Now, this Camtono here, in order for it to get it to light up, you have to pop this off here, this top off here, and then turn it on. And then you can see how it lights up. There's the light up in there, right? And then you would put the cover back on, like so. And then it has a stack of Beskar that fits inside here. Here's the stack of Beskar. You can slip it inside the Camtono right in there, like so. It has one extra piece of best guard and you can also see a, a seal or a logo on it I don't know if you can make that out there right then we have the whistling birds effect right here that attaches to the Mandalorian right here this attaches to his um, gauntlet right then you have a hologram with the Mandalorian uh, armor right here. You have the magnetic silver back uh, jetpack with firing effects right here. Here it is right here. Now these are removable. You can see they can go back on in here. You can see the detail on this right then you have the tracking fob right here here's the tracking fob right in here then you have the flamethrower effect right here that attaches again to the gauntlet you have a uh, necklace with you can see the logo on it, the seal right there, the Munhorn seal right here. There he is right there. Then you have, what else do you have? Oh, you have an additional five hands that are removable, right? You have the other items that come with the stand and the hover pram with cover. The cover and then you do have the two additional poses of the uh, child or the Grogu this is the items that come with this action figure okay before we take a look at the Mandalorian we get to look at some of his accessories here is his rifle right here it's got a scope right there this is his rifle and we can attach it to his back here a little bit to where it just hangs there but there it is also it comes with a uh, hologram hologram of the mandalorian armor right there and let's go ahead and look at this here we have his detonator here uh, this right in here 
and this one will attach to the figure right in here you can see it glues right there but let's go ahead and I showed you this little uh, helmet piece here that I showed you earlier this attaches right in here this is removable I switched it out with this piece here I don't know if that's some kind of light or some kind of laser but you can see it there but let's take a better look at the figure right here he is he's got his uh, dark gray cape here's where you can attach the rifle here and um, he's got his uh, belt pouches detonators his blaster is right in here it's attached in there and if I want to I can just lift this tab and pull it out this is his blaster just take a look at the detail on that right there's his blaster goes over and it flips in there I dropped the detonator by accident here I guess I didn't slip it in there right there it is and let's pull it out and take a look at this here he is he's wearing his silver t-visor helmet let's take a look at the detail on that his uh, face his uh, head moves there up and down side to side left to right it's just super articulated this figure dark gray cape again here's the shoulder there it is I had mentioned this earlier the, sh the shoulder armor his chest armor his thigh armor this one shows damage on it battle damage and those are his boots let's take a look at the detail on there those are gray the the pants are like a dark gray they're not brown the same thing with his undershirt here he's got another shirt underneath there you can see that it's a dark gray which is this right in here and his gauntlets Here's that whistling birds right here. I guess this pops off right here like I had mentioned earlier. And I can grab the uh, other piece here. Where is it? I have it right here. Let me grab it. Uh, that whistling birds effect here and put it on him to where it does this. See that? Like if he's firing it. Right? Put this back on there. Oops, the, I dropped the head off of it. And a little piece there. Put this back. There we go. These things are very sensitive and they can come apart really quick there it is but we get to see the articulation on his and his hands are pretty easy to change out they just pop on and off now he is limited this branch here because of the shoulder guards here the shoulder armor but he does have good articulation waist you know armor is is, is limiting here his legs So, let's take a great look at this detail on this guy here. He's really a great figure. Let me go ahead and stand him up and set him up, and we'll take a better look. Now, let's take a look at the child. We have the child in a sitting pose. This is a magnet right in here, and he has this kind of movement. Let's take a look at the detail on that. Great. And, but no articulation, just the head. Swivels a little up and down, but side to side. Then we have the child standing pose. And this one here, we don't have any articulation. You can see the feet down here at the bottom. But again, just the head slightly, but again, take a look at that face sculpt and just all the detail it is a hard plastic but simulates cloth but it's great 
and here's the hover here's the hover frame right here this is the uh it comes apart here there's a little piece of plastic in there and this is the blanket that goes with it right here right and this child can just attach right there see how it doesn't come off he's there and we can probably put the blanket in there like so if we can get the blanket in there and there it is there he is in the hover frame this cover comes off and if we were to attach it to the actual stand there it is right here it's in the stand and we'll take a better look at it here in a sec but this is the child and let's take a better look at the Mandalorian figure in a minute let's compare this Hot Toys Mandalorian 1-6 scale action figure to some of my figures that are similar in size I have a 40th anniversary action man figure here so that I can stand right next to him and see how he scales compared to this action figure here and a vintage uh, adventure team GI Joe this is actually my original action team GI Joe figure that the pride of my collection here I've had this forever so he's pretty beat up but he's still hanging in there and he's in a stand as well but there we go just for comparisons you can see that they are pretty similar in size this is wearing a helmet of course and but he scales very well with my GI Joes and I'm proud to have this guy in my collection here along with several other hot toys. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think of this Hot Toys, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and The Child Deluxe Edition. Do you have this set? Or do you have any of the other Hot Toys Mandalorian figures? Either way, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. And please, like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell to receive notice of future upcoming videos. So let's add to the action with Action Joe Figs.